Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use invoke function in Power BI. So let's go to transform data. So when we go to this add column, we see this invoke custom function. So in this video, I'm going to show you how and why to use this invoke custom function. So as you can see on my screen, uh, I have four queries of four tables. That is employee salaries, attendance and project. So in the employees table, focus on the column name. The column names are having underscores and these are not in the proper case format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a transformation logic to transform the column names. I'm going to replace these underscores with spaces and then I will make the column names in proper case format. These two will be the transformation logic. So basically I will create a function which will have these two transformation logic and when I invoke or call that function to these tables, it will automatically apply those transformations to all those tables. Now let me show you practically. So I'm going to create a function. So to create a function, I will go to home tab and in the new source, I'm going to click on it and click on blank query. And I'm going to name this query as transform column names. Let's go to advanced editor. So here I'm going to write those transformation logics and create the function. Instead of source, I'm going to say transform column names. So this will be the name. It will have certain input parameters. So it will have input table as table. So this is the format. After that, I'm going to say let. So inside this let, I'm going to write the transformation logic. So first, what I have to do is I have to remove the underscores, underscores from the column name. So I will say table dot transform column names. So here, as you can see on the tool tip, it takes a table as an input parameter and then name generator as function. So in the table, I'm going to give input table and uh, in the name generator, I'm going to say each text dot replace. So I'm going to replace, I will give placeholder and I'm going to replace underscore with space. So here what we are saying is whatever table we get as input table from that table, it is going to replace the column names because we are using the function transform column names. So it is going to take each column and replace the underscores from each column with space. Next, we are going to say, make it in proper case format. So I will name it as proper case. So here again, I'm going to use table dot transform column names. I'm going to use this. So here also, uh, it's the same function. So in the table, I'm going to give this remove underscores as input table, remove underscores. So from this remove underscores, I will just say text dot proper. So it is going to make all the column names in proper case format. Next, I'm going to return. So in proper case, so I'm going to return proper case. Uh, finally, I'm going to return this function as output. So this is our function. I will click on done. So our function is ready. If you see here, this is our function. Here it is asking to input table. Since we have given only one input, that is input table. It is asking for an input table so that it can invoke the function. If I give employee as an input table, what it will do is it will apply the transformation logic to the employees. That is, it will transform the column names for the employees table. So if I click on invoke, see it has invoked the function and this is our employee table. And as you can see the column names, there is no underscores and uh, each name is in proper case format. So we have successfully formatted the column headers, but we are not going to apply the function by this way, by invoking it because it will duplicate the tables and I don't want to duplicate the tables. Instead, I'm going to delete it. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this function in each table. So let me show you how to use it. I will go to employees table and you can see the column names. It is having underscores. So what I will do is I will click on this FX button. So I'm going to add a step. So change type is basically the last table variable. I'm going to use that function that we have created here. So I'm going to say uh, transform or uh, best thing will be just uh, copy this function name from here so that it will be easy to apply. And uh, let's go to employees table. And here uh, I will just paste it and put this change type inside the bracket and click on enter. So as soon as I click on enter, see the transformation logic is applied. See, so how easily it has applied the transformation. So similarly, if we have to apply the same transformation to other tables, we don't have to uh, write the transformation logic again and again. Instead, create a function and use the function to apply it. So see how easily I will apply it. I will just click on FX button and I will paste the function name and 
put this change type inside the bracket and click on enter see it's done again i will go to attendance and do the same thing put it in the bracket and click on enter same thing for project so this is how we use the functions in power query power bi suppose if you have a certain transformation that you want to apply in the tables in your power bi report so instead of applying those transformations uh, repeatedly to each tables so instead of repeating those transformations in each table create a function and then call that function to each table so that you can easily apply the transformation steps by invoking the function i hope you found this video useful and you have learned something new in this video to learn more do not forget to subscribe my channel so till then goodbye and thanks for watching